In today's video, I'm going to be going over the updated Java UI text pack for Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.17. The download can be found in the description down below, but without further ado, let's get started in today's awesome video. All right, boys, so a couple of days ago, there has been an update to this amazing text pack that we showcased on the channel before, and that is the VDX Java UI, and we are currently on version 1.0.3, and they added a bunch more features over here that we're going to be taking a look at, and essentially, this basically gives you Minecraft Java Edition UI on a bedrock condition which is honestly so cool I really love it a bit so as you can tell we have the 1.17 panorama just to show you that it actually does work for 1.17 but guys let me show you the new features and that new feature is in a profile they actually completely change your profile over here it looks way different before it used to be just you know your vanilla minecraft and all that but they completely changed it over here we have our skins and it just looks amazing over here we have options and then we have uh which also um you know is in the java ui the options is actually in java ui over here we can change our gamer tag uh we can also manage our accounts and all that and it actually gives you your build over here for your device so that's honestly pretty cool also your old deleted logs all that good stuff i really love this to bits you also get your audio over here but um yeah here's how the achievements look like unfortunately the achievements are still from bedrock edition but they definitely did make the profile more java ui ish which is honestly so cool i love it to bits but um yeah literally everything from this texture pack is java ui take a look at this it is beautiful i love it to bits but anyways we're going to be going into a world over here create a new world and i'm just going to show you how it looks like all right guys we are now creating a world and here's how it looks like as you can tell we have that amazing java loading screen over here which looks absolutely phenomenal but we are finally in our game over here and yeah, as you can tell, everything is definitely more Java-like over here, especially the feature with our chat over here, where basically whenever we chat, it's actually at the bottom left of our screen instead of the, um, you know, top left. So yeah, look, I'm just going to type in a bunch of stuff over here. It actually, you know, it says it over there, it's up to Frybry. And what's cool is you can hit this um, arrow over here to basically copy what you wrote previously. And you can basically spam like this you can literally spam in the java chat it looks way better take a look at that guys that is just so insane and um yo like this is honestly very useful and of course you could still use this to do what you would normally do in vanilla minecraft like change the time teleport the weather all that good stuff like i really do love it to bits you know it definitely does help out a lot and um yeah you know it definitely gets the job done but uh, what's really cool, in my opinion, is that literally, if you go to the options menu over here, it is still from the Java UI. Everything is from the Java UI over here. We have our profile, our video, our language, our resource pack, our audio, keyboard and mouse controller, touch accessibility. Everything is essentially made to be Java themed. And over here, we can change our FOV. But yo, like this is honestly so cool. Even if you go over here, you, we even have uh, the VSync option which is honestly so cool i love that we can also change your graphics over here our lighting our view bobbing our fov rendering clouds etc so if you ever wanted the most java like experience in better condition i highly recommend um you know using this pack over here look guys and as you can tell everything including from the inventory is made to be java themed over here it just looks super duper amazing i'm going to get my crafting table out over here i'm also going to get um you know some sticks and all that because like literally everything is java themed and i just wanted to make this video to show you guys the updated version because they're always constantly updating it and also i want to go over a chart with you guys that basically goes in depth as to what features and comparisons it have so i'm gonna put it on the screen right now it's very long but uh i hope you guys can read it definitely feel free to pause the video if you want to take a closer look at it but it basically tells you all of the new features and i'm very grateful for that but look we're in survival Minecraft mode over here, right? And uh, we're going to now start crafting over here, which will be pretty easy. And then bam, we're just going to put that over there and then we can just craft. And yo, look how the crafting looks like. It looks so amazing. I really do love it to bits over here. So look, we can even craft it over here. You know, it still gives us like guides and all that. And I'm pretty sure in Java edition, it does not do that. But you know, you could definitely get the idea. This is Java themed and all that. And also another really cool thing about this texture pack is that it actually works on the new beta. And I'm just going to put an image of it on the screen right now. So if you play on beta, then this will work for you. Like that's another new feature. And also they changed the UI of these structure blocks, which I'll be posting a picture of it on the screen right now. So they actually changed the structure block UI as well, just to make it appear more realistic. And honestly, I really don't do much with structure blocks i don't even know what they are but that is still a cool feature regardless so if you use structure blocks then expect to get some java ui now i know you guys are probably asking yourself will this work on servers well let's find out 
Also, take a look at this. We can even see our little realms UI over here and our server UI. It looks so realistic. I really do love it to bits, you know what I mean? But for some reason, they don't even have the featured servers. What? Yo, oh, whoa, never mind. Over here, we can see the featured servers. Bam, there we go. We have LiPo, we have the High, we have all those good servers over here. You can even see like your connection, if it's good or not. If it's in the green, that means your connection is good. If it's red, then that means it's not really that good. But we are joining a server and we are going to answer the question, does this work on servers? Let's see, yes sir, yes sir. Indeed it does work on servers over here. We got the amazing chat over there. And um, you know, we still do get all the Java characteristics. For example, if we go over here to our inventory and uh, you don't have to worry about you know getting banned on the hive or any type of server because this is perfectly allowed this is a ui texture pack it's not a hacker anything so really you have nothing to worry about so that is definitely another massive plus in my book this is another new feature with this texture pack over here and that is the list of players so you can go to any server or any survival world uh you know where there's a lot of players and you can actually go through the entire list over here now i really like this because it's way more compact and you don't really have to scroll down as much and also you can see like their little profile picture over there which i personally think is absolutely useful then over here we have feedback which is from the vanilla minecraft and uh over here we have invites a game which once again is from the vanilla minecraft but yeah i really love this to bits this texture pack is the full deal but anyways guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you found this video helpful consider subscribing as it'd be greatly appreciated and you can always change your mind later on in the future please remember that the download can be found in the description down below please like comment and subscribe see you later french fries